Indiana State Sanatorium, a.k.a. Diablo's Asylum. That place be collecting spirits and entities like Infinity Stones. Let's be real. Yo, what up, home slices? It's me, ya girl, Emily the Fine Art Medium, and we're going to be reacting to Twin Paranormals video. Yeah. <laughs> um, Diablo's yeah, Asylum, when they just released um, a few days ago. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna break down some stuffs and nitpick some things, if you will. I will be inserting clips, by the way for your entertainment. So let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, right off the bat, after their, their tomfoolery, if you will. Seven minutes, 10 seconds in. The paranormal activity in this building is on a whole nother level. It is thought that the residual energy from its dark past still lingers inside these walls. Immediately, when you have places like this, it is a magnet for residual energy and imprints. And that has to do with the high foot traffic, the amount of suffering, the amount of death, etc. And you kind of find this pattern, again, in high foot traffic places. So like hospitals, prisons, places like that. And it's the most common thing you see in these types of places because I mean let's face it energy's everywhere everywhere right now where you're sitting in your room or in your kitchen or in your living room there's energy everywhere and you know as people whether we're going through happy times or sad times or angry times that energy is put out into your space and now think about with this place it's been around for decades so there's a lot of years of residual energy and imprints collected in that location okay so originally we were going to start investigating in a totally different area but when we came over here to do b-roll we started hearing what sounded like very heavy footsteps so now i guess we're going to start here and see what happens i don't know what is happening i don't know where it's coming from Footsteps. So I'm seeing employees and patients walking down the hallways, and that's energetic imprints. Fun fact people that have had their energy imprinted on a location don't have to be dead. I don't know if you knew that. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I'm sorry about my hair situation. It's like in my fucking face. Wait, let's be an adult here and uh, be smart. There we go, much better. There's all kinds of stories that people talk about involving seeing you guys walking down these halls. They hear what sounds like people talking and also will hear growling. So what we just experienced, we feel like that was one of you. What the f was that? Was that a confirmation? Right away, this is actually feeling really scary. <laughs> Yo, how that's wild. I have this device here that I'm going to go ahead and set down. All right, too. So, yeah, that's an earthbound spirit. So I started seeing an older man around 50 to 55. He was like middle-aged, um, wearing brown, like, dress pants, black leather looking shoes, a light dress shirt with like one of the pockets in the front where you know you can put pens in. He had a pen in his or a metaphysical pen but yeah so he's got like brownish gray hair in large glasses 
and he's what tripped the REM pod. He gives the name Jerry. When I do these channels, I don't get names a lot of times, but I'm wondering if it's, well, it's probably because I'm not asking for names. I just like to see what's there. It could be, you know. Oh, that kind of did sound like a clap. No. What the f is going on? This is not okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. We could be getting this wrong. Listen, this place used to be- Tonight. Tonight? This is not looking good for you tonight. Oh. Um, oh f I like to play games clapping tonight. Okay, but listen, this is where I'm going with this. Otherworld. Other world. This used to be an insane asylum, right? Mm hmm So what if somebody's like all loony and they're like, I love playing games, you know, as they're clapping. What the f Ryan? It makes sense. Well. No, it totally makes sense. That's just scary. Mm hmm <laughs> The I love playing games had me dying, but Ryan is actually correct. So with his assessment, the energy, the earthbound spirit that I saw is giving similar to what autism would feel like. Not saying that the earthy himself was aut autistic when alive, but more along the lines of having some sort of cognitive disability, whether induced while at the asylum or having it before he entered it. I don't know what else that could be. Are you Bigfoot? You think they understand English? That is right there. Yeah. Yeah! Shut the f up, dude. That's not real. What? I've never seen you so happy. <laughs> Found the footprints. There's a Bigfoot in here. Or some f evil entity that's just a f I think something or somebody is just trying to please you, Wyatt. When Wyatt asks if there's a Bigfoot and it goes, yeah, that's Jerry. That's your boy, Jerry. <laughs> Guys, I was laughing so hard at that. I'm like, Jerry is trolling and he don't even know he's trolling. Because he hasn't crossed over, he will remain with that cognitive impairment. Once he crosses over, he will be healed and not have that anymore. Is that true? Open your mind. Open, Open your, your mind. mind? Like in order for us to communicate, we have to open our mind yeah, enough to unlock it. How do we do that? We didn't bring any shrooms. Open your mind. How do we do that? We didn't bring any shrooms. <laughs> this is why I like these guys. Oh my God. This is where I start seeing other earthbound spirits. Guys, there's a lot. There's a lot of earthies. There's a lot of fractals. And uh, yeah, so I start seeing the other earthbound spirits around them, most of which are female. However, there's one dominant female with dark chest length, scraggly hair, and she's wearing what looks like a light nightgown that patients wear at hospitals. That so, last piece, you know? We don't want okay. to speak. Whoa! We don't want to speak. That's from the mini entourage group with that dominant female. So there's. I couldn't tell if there were three or four because there's so many fractals. But. I think it was three females and one male. But most of them were pretty faint. So it's right over there. Don't stay here. Whoa, don't, stay don't stay here. here. Don't stay here. That's the dominant female earthy warning them. Maybe we make our way upstairs. Yeah. I'm here to hurt you. I'm what? here to hurt you. Getting sharp pains in my upper back and head at this point, And I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm also feeling anger over trivial things. And I notice, like, okay, so... When I start feeling pains or, like, an emotion sweep over me, I have to take a break. Because I don't want that energy in my field. And I noticed when I took my break, I was starting to get angry over the stupidest shit. Like, my dog not wanting to have to go to the bathroom because he gets distracted by every sound, everything, the wind blowing. I was getting so mad. But... 
typically I don't get mad at that. I know how Ghost is. He's a little diva. And so I'm used to it and it usually don't make me mad. But the fact that I was feeling mad tells me there is some, when I say some, there's one earthy there that's like, that's nastier than all of the rest. So 30 minutes and eight seconds in, I try to see what malevolent entities are there and what, you know, they're dealing with while channeling. I hear loud as day. Oh, this is where I hear Dylan Rounds' name. And I'm like, what the fuck? What does Dylan Rounds have to do with that? And that's when I made the little post under my community tab. That way it's documented if anything happens. There's something in my eye. So... Could it be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mickey went off, Mickey went off and I got it on camera. That is so weird. We're talking about Dylan rounds, yo. I was like, is that an intrusive thought? No. Like I was thinking it and Mickey went off. Thank you, Mickey. I'm glad I changed the batteries today. Paranormal activity caught on camera. Okay. So, hi Dylan Rounds. I'm wondering if they're going to find his body or more information. <gasps> okay. Upon astral projecting into the hallway, I see the shape-shifting shadow thing with glowing yellow-white eyes. It starts off as this four-legged beast thing that looks like a combination between a werewolf and a bear. And it's on all four of its legs. And it stretches up towards the ceiling. Like it gets off four legs and then it stretches up off two legs towards the ceiling into a formless elongated shadow, which allowed me to see the human fractals and negative energy inside of it. This thing is constructed of negative residual energy, fractals, and it just continues to consume anything with negative energy. It's giving thought form vibes and the negative energy it consumes makes it stronger. It gives me like the best way to describe it is if you guys have seen the Disney movie Hercules, like the cartoon where they're in the underworld with Hades and you know like that river with souls, right? And you see the little faces and little bodies and stuff like floating and drifting. Well, that's kind of what it looks like in this entity, except it's not a river. It's just like that space that the entity entity creates within itself. It's almost like the body of the entity and it holds those things within it. And it kind of looks like that, but obviously to the shape of the entity and it's like dark. It's like almost pitch black. I think that's what growled at them earlier and continues to do so. But I don't feel like that's what's making the noise on the upstairs level. I feel that that entity is a collector. Collectors are those that collect, you know, souls of those that were living. So it can be animals or people, anything that was alive. And there's... I noticed that too in Waverly Sanatorium as well. So this is a new type of entity that I haven't talked about, I don't think yet on my channel, but when you have a lot of death, they be coming, they be coming in and collecting. They're not good to have because it prevents the souls from crossing over and you want them to cross over, but instead it keeps them trapped. I'm here to hurt you. Uh, that's not the thought form that made the spirit box say that. It's giving malevolent human earthy vibes. I think we make our way upstairs. I'm just curious, man. What the f is happening? Is that why they said don't stay? Thank you. You guys. Did you just, the children, are the children are playing? And kind of like off in the distance, I see Jerry, the 
He's just like playing off in some corner with like the younger souls. I don't know. Kind of random if you ask me. Now in the upstairs. The one that's glowing red or touch the bell. Dude, shut the f up. Hello? So, the one earthy from the group of females, where it's made up of three females and I think one male, but so this male earthy and that dominant female earthy within that group, guys, when I tell you they had me busting, okay, they fuck with people on purpose because it's funny to them and it's like they kind of try to one-up each other to see like who can make the best reaction and yeah they made it a game and as you know the twins are freaking out and why it's freaking out i'm watching them laugh and it's so funny it is so funny but that's like it's like that mini game that they play with multiple objectives to a create that negative energy for them to feed off of but also to have fun while doing it they don't want to be they don't want to be malevolent but they understand that they need to get that energy so they play those games and try to have like harmless fun that's their way of having harmless fun that's not really technically hurting anybody even though technically it kind of is through taking the energy of others it can leave you drained and open up to illnesses and things but in their eyes, they don't see it as harmful. <laughs> I see the um, the earthy guy. He stomped his foot as loud as he could, and the others are laughing hysterically. It's like a 10-year-old standing over there like, and then they're about to stomp their foot, and, <laughs> and then he does it, and then they're like, oh, and then the earthies are laughing. These guys are funny. These things scared the f out of me. Oh, my heart is still going. No, get out. No, get out. Earthbound spirits are hilarious. The no get out, that's a different person from the group horsing around. Um, that's a, yeah, that's a different one. Oh, okay. So that one is... I'm going to keep that in mind because as I'm going through this, I'm trying to count them. Just about All right, to here I level. get pain in my elbow move, like move. it's slammed oh, into something. It just said move. And hit on the left side near temple starts throbbing. And it made me think lobotomy victim or like a tortured victim or someone that had kind of some sort of surgery. That's what it kind of feels like. Because a lot of times when it's energetic, it's like the back of my head or like my eyes or around my third eye. This was like temple pain. That was weird. Whoa. Oh, that, that got my body, dude. I am chilling up. I'm chilling up. That's when the spirit is draining the space and Ryan's energy. Burning right side exactly. of my back. Oh, again! Um, then I start channeling again to see what other negative things are in the location. Yeah, so I start feeling hot. And it's the kind of, it's not like a heat flash, but it's like right before I'm about to have an allergic reaction kind of hot. Like, I don't know. When I, if you ever have an allergic reaction and you get hives, your skin kind of gets hot first before the hives come. That's what it feels like. I do see multiple spider entities, but they're in a cold, dark, basement-like atmosphere. If you think about it, if living spiders would be in that location naturally, then more than likely you have the opportunity to have astral spiders. And due to the immense amount of negative residual energy and just residual energy in general it's a feeding ground for them i see this other female i'm getting earthy vibes at first i'm not i wasn't sure because she almost didn't have a consciousness to her 
but I do see her later, so I am going to rule her as an earthy. And guys, if you don't know, when I say earthy, that's my slang for earthbound spirit. But she was appearing to me upside down with her dark hair partially clinging to her face. And her face looked like it was melting off. Like you could see the flesh just melting off. And her eyes were hollowed out in black. Her mouth was open and looked like a black, never-ending space, if that even makes sense. She almost looked skeletal and was extremely pale. She didn't feel conscious, like I said, because she wasn't very interactive in the beginning. But eventually she does become um, interactive throughout their investigation. But I'm going to say... I suspect they burned her alive or cremated her alive. They did some bad shit to her and that's really sad. And I'm wonder- oh, that's why I'm feeling the burning! Okay, so periodically through this, as I'm watching this, I feel a lot of burning on my skin. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And that it explains the heat- okay, the hot- Sometimes I just want to go boop, like, duh. Okay, that makes sense. I think, yeah, I think a lot of them were burned alive. And they, because they felt it. Alright, now we have thought form number two. He, <laughs> okay. Don't make fun of me of how I describe this thing. But it looks like a fucked up anglerfish that ate meth. And it eats negative energy like Pac-Man, like the womp, 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 womp. I see a lot of thought forms like that. Thought form number three. <laughs> Looks like a methed out shark. Also eating negative energy like Pac-Man. Yeah, a lot of these thought forms look like fish. Thought form number four. Black mound of shadowy energy moving on the floor like a cartoon burrowing in the ground. So it's kind of like this <laughs> on the ground. And then the negative male earthy that's really nasty and very predatorial. And he does his stuff alone. It's not for fun. It's because he's nasty as AF. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Thought form number five. This one. Okay, the meth dot ones look pretty freaking creepy. However, out of a scale of creepiness, this thing takes the cake. This thought form is white. Like, almost, I wouldn't say pure white. Oh, here's a good example. You see this on my camera because I have a light. It might look, um, yeah, there we go might look pure white but it's not but it looks like this color like this lighter color and it looks like a five-year-old tried to make a person out of play-doh or clay but um it has a creepy smile and creepy small black eyes and listen you guys said a lot about how the twins don't like skeletons well, I don't like entities when they smile at me. That's my thing. I don't fucking like it. Listen, I'm very desensitized to demons and all that shit. Okay? But if you take an entity of any fucking kind and it fucking smiles at me, no. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm out. Bye, Felicia. Anyway. Dark energy everywhere. Dark energy everywhere. Sums up and validates everything I had gotten up until then. Threatened us, and then somebody else said, I'm delighted you're here. Yes. Harbinger. Harbinger. There's some sort of entity dragging something that's metal and sharp on the ground. That's what's making that scraping sound. And Spirit did show me an entity that looks like the Grim Reaper, 
but it's not actually a Grim Reaper. It's the it's it's a collector entity. So I don't know if there's one or two, or if it's the same one and it just shape shifts. But that to me is kind of validating that yes, there is a collector entity there. And it's wearing a black hood and its face is covered by shadow. The metal thing that it's carrying looks like the the weapons that if you ever watch Game of Thrones, the Dothraki carry. I'll show you. I drew a little picture. Eh, it's this thing over here. It almost looks like a scythe, but it's not quite because it's more round for the blade. The energy is super dense. And yeah, I can just see it. I don't, I don't like it. It needs to go, it needs to go. The man attacks people. Oh. Oh, are we in danger? We got close to the railing, okay? Yes. And basically we're told that we were gonna be pushed over. And it said move away. Where is this man? We wanna talk to him. Is that okay? Did it just call me a woman? The man attacks people. Yeah. The negative, the nasty, uh, earthy. Yeah. He's not cool. He's also the one that charged at them, too. So if you go back and watch their video, I highly recommend, by the way. Um, yeah. He is what charged at them. Once this, uh, negative, earthy came, the ones that were joking around and having fun kind of took a step back and they're like, we ain't fucking around with this dude. Mm -mm. Hell no. Because they are afraid of him. And they do hurt. He does hurt them. And because of this, that's why there's quite a few of them trying to protect River and Ryan and Wyatt. It's because of that one. And yes, the negative earthy did call Amanda a hoe for helping the boys. Some of the rooms look like the walls, ceiling, and the floor are made out of this goopy and dark bubbling energy. It's again from the residual energy just collecting and festering and ugh. Oh, and because of this, the energy grids are warped, thin and broken in some places. And when you have broke energy grids or when you have broke, when you have broken energy grids, that's how you get some portals and you can have rips and tears and things. So in a lot of the rooms there are portals, but there's quite a few portals within the building. At 54, 35, there's definitely one in that room that they're standing in. What the f what? What's wrong with you think? I don't know. It's never done that the before. The Earthies are using the camera light. Are you here with us? So they keep messing with it. Holy dude. And it's I, never done that before. <laughs> and I say this. I said, I wouldn't be surprised if their batteries go dead. And well, guess what happens later on? Burned. Yeah, the female I was seeing so with the melting face with, is one of like many activity. that were burned alive. Like if I you said. You want us back over here. So again, that makes sense to the burning that I was feeling on my body. Um... And just all the weird, uncomfortable sensations that I was feeling. So here... thought I just heard something. If you want to have a conversation with us, can you please... I don't even remember what I was going to say. We're losing it, man. I'm losing it, dude. I legit, mid-sentence, I thought I heard someone talking to us. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. They're going to make us go crazy here. <laughs> They are picking up the residual energy of those with mental illness and those that have been tortured and highly medicated and it is messing with their ability to think and speak. This, as being someone with that's clairsentient and granted, Ryan and River are clairsentient and they're earth signs. They're gonna feel that a lot. Even if that energy wasn't really dense, yeah. But because it's dense, all three of them are feeling it. So I hope to 
God. I hope to God when those three left that location that they cleanse themselves good. Good. I hope they did because you don't want to be bringing that shit back home. Fuck, I wouldn't even want to get in my car with that shit. Plus, you don't want any attachments from that place either. So guys, if you're going to be doing investigations and going places you know that are probably haunted, or even if you feel like they're just ill energy-wise, they're not so good, cleanse yourself with, you can use the Palo Santo smoke, do your little poop poop, right? Make sure you ain't taking stuff home with you. Make sure nothing be attaching. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. It said that there's many deaths, and then it said next room. Nine spirits? Nine spirits. Were you the ones who were surrounding us? So they said nine spirits that they were feeling. That... So that's why I was counting. I forget which one said it specifically, but they're really, really close. It's either nine or ten. At least the ones that I saw. I'm sure there's more. And let's be real, I'm not a perfect medium. Like, there's going to be some things that I don't see that some others will see. And, you know, if there's something that I didn't catch, please list it down below in the comments because I'm very curious. And for me, it's kind of like a learning lesson. So, yeah, if you guys catch anything, please. Touch that red light, please. Show us how much energy you have. Nope. Nope. Touch that red light. Nope. Why not? Die. Some of these earthies don't have a lot of energy to waste. For some of them, it's extremely difficult to do things on command. And I feel like knocking in general is probably just easier than tripping REM pods. And, um, yeah. Like, or tripping spirit boxes or the music box thing. And yeah, River even says that. Wow, he's so intuitive. He... He's got some abilities, and he, he, I don't even know if he's aware. I don't even know if he's aware. But he does have some gifts there. If you are here, use my energy and speak into this device. Say something, please. This is a major lesson for everybody who is watching. So he invites the entity and or spirit to use his energy so they can continue to communicate with it. Please, for the love of God, do not do that. Do not do that. I have seen people do that, and when they do that, boom, immediate attachment. Don't do that. When you invite an entity to take your energy, you're pretty much opening yourself up for it to do anything to you, including attachment. And that's, again, how many investigators come home with attachments. Even if they cleanse their bodies when they leave, they gave it that invitation, that permission. That little mini cleansing ain't gonna do jack shit now. Where did this evil entity come from? Where are they normally? Prison. Prison. Where are they normally? Like they were locked up somewhere. Prison? Dude. Okay, this was an asylum. Mm -hmm. What if there was a padded room? There might have been. I'm sure there was. I mean, those people that get out of hand, you gotta put them somewhere. Souls. Did you say souls? It just said souls. What does it mean? Eliminate. Eliminate. Death. Death. Eliminate. Souls. Eliminate. Here they say prison, souls. Like I said, souls are trapped there from the collector. And, you know, part of me suspects that the negative male earthy is helping. Oh, so, you know, as I get to this point, I'm noticing that I'm having difficulty spelling simple words. And I'm like, mm, that's me picking up the disabilities. Oh, uh, the tunnel. So... 
So, yeah. No, they don't use the tunnels to travel to each building. They can. But spirits just pop in and out when they want to. Or they just use portals. They don't need to use the tunnels to travel. And I also see a nurse-looking female. Not safe! Not safe! She helps cremate and throw Someone living Someone at the other end of the, the tunnel just went, shh. I see her Are we not supposed to be down here? Many of the patients. We're new here. So they don't put up a fight when they burn them alive. A lobotomizing and torturing them. And doing other heinous things to them. She also transported many, you know, dead bodies back and forth. But yeah, she is a negative earthy. And no, it's not Amanda. Because <laughs> they're like, Amanda, is that you? No. I offered for you to come with us. As River was saying, we're going to escape. No. Say it with me. No. Again, invitation. Attachment. Don't want to do that. But one thing I did want to ask was spirit blocked me from seeing the attachments of river and ryan but someone was saying in the or it could have been multiple people that they were trying to figure out their attachments if they had any now this message is directed towards river ryan and wyatt if you want to know your attachments give me permission so spirit can give me permission and then i can look for you so if you want to know, I will tell you. I promise. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so I'm going to cut it here. If you stayed around this long, you are awesome. And you might as well subscribe, right? I mean, I mean, you made it this far. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but seriously, don't forget to like, comment, share. I love reading everyone's comments. I try to answer literally every single one. Sometimes YouTube hides comments, so if I don't get to you, please don't take it personal. It's not my fault, okay? And we had Mickey go off. Whoop whoop. Okay. Peace out, home slices, home fries, and homes of other varieties.